Hello everyone, I'm Fork Snapper, and welcome back to Nightmare of the Snow. So the last thing I did was, uh, got to open up Seiko's room, and, uh, I went in, and I met my fate, and it was extremely horrible. <laughs> so I gotta try not to screw this up, and see how everything pans out from here on. Let's see, we need to be careful. And I think I was supposed to read this. Or not. I forgot I already read through it. Okay, so I tried the one at the very end. I'm gonna try to decide. Yuki, we shouldn't go without any information about the correct path. Oh, now you tell us this. Oh, yes, I forgot. So, now we do need to find a way to, uh, what do you call it? We need to figure out how to get information. Oh, duh. There's other places to go and roam around to. Totally forgot about that. Should've known better. Alrighty. Let's get out of here for now. Since all of them have no useful information. I didn't mean to go through there. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh yeah, so... Don't need to be around here for now. Let's get out of here. Alright, there's other houses that I didn't get to explore. And that's probably gonna have more of uh, Shirokage's paranormal investigation stuff. I'm missing one part, if I'm right. And so far, we got absolutely nothing. That's just great. But here, uh huh, here's something. Alright. Uh huh. Part 4. Finally. It has been four hours since I fell asleep in this old house. I haven't seen any spirits nearby, nor have I sensed any. It seems that the holy power that comes from Psycho's grave keeps protecting this village from any vengeful spirits. She truly is the holy mother of the Kirihara family. And I guess that's it. There's a book titled Kiriara Family Part 5, which instantly caught your attention. Kiriara Family owns a large number of polar bears and wolves. They usually take them along during a war or hunt. The bears and wolves are trained hard in order to compete against the family's opponent during the war. I witnessed a trained bear kill around 3-5 to five samurais at once. The animals, however, they only obey Seiko's command. After Seiko died, Yukiko became the only one that they obeyed. Alright. This might be some useful information in case they think that uh, Yuki is uh, Yukiko. So that's cool. Right? And it looks like there's nothing else important here. So let's get out of here. Is this where I came from? That's a yes. Alright. Did I go through here? Probably not. Hmm. What does this place have to offer? Today, Mr. Sochi and a young stranger were able to fend off an army of 50 people. It's really a surprise that Mr. Sochi lost to the young stranger in terms of kill count. It's also the first time we saw Mr. Sochi lose to an outsider. He also praised that stranger too. We've never seen Mr. Sochi praise anyone other than his wife before. There's also one thing about that young stranger. While Mr. Sochi didn't show any remorse after slaying his enemies, the stranger did. It's just like what my grandpa told me. With a pure heart comes a great amount of strength. Okie dokie. Book titled The Ice Cavern, which instantly caught your attention. The Ice Cavern is a holy place for a Kirihara family. It is a place where the ice reincarnation rituals. Wait a minute. Didn't I read this? There's a big hole inside the cavern which people said to be the gate into the pit of freezing hell. If you try to splash the water near the hole, the water will freeze immediately in midair. Seijiro Kirihara tried to light the fire near the freezing hole, but the fire froze immediately. This made Seijiro seal the room for good. Maybe I didn't read this one. I might have read something similar. Or something about the ice cavern. Or I'm, I'm just very, very confused <laughs> because that's that's how I'm feeling at the moment. Okay, so there's some graves here. 
but I guess they're not important to look at for now. Okay, what else do we have here? Here lies Seiko Kirihara. May her soul pass to the uh, other side peacefully. Okay, she gets a very massive gravestone, which is nice, but why does everyone else get something very simple? I guess because she's more respected, as I mentioned, right? Alrighty, so far I got nothing else unless I didn't look thoroughly. And if I didn't look thoroughly, then I am screwed. <laughs> The path to the queen's room. 1239. That's what I read. See, I still think that would have been the hint. But it's acting like new. Okay, that probably looks like death. That's also death. And then I just died. Damn it. <laughs> That is just great! Alright, so... Through here first... Then through here... And then, uh, I don't know... About this area... Oh, sweet! I did it! Cool! <laughs> I don't know how that would help, though, with those, uh... The number thing... I didn't see a number thing around, so that didn't help me <laughs> at all. But you know what? It's fine. We made it. We're good. Time to move on. And maybe die. The ceiling. No. Kayako, we have to hide. I know. Uh oh. Hehe. <laughs> I know both of you are in this room. <laughs> this is bad. <laughs> There's no place to run. We're dead if she finds us. That's just fantastic. <laughs> Behind the folding screen. <laughs> I don't know why I'm making a weird voice. <laughs> or why I'm sounding like a weirdo. Yuki, what should we do? I don't know. I can't even think right now. This might be it for us. No, it isn't. Yuki, don't just give up like that. But we have no chance of surviving now. It's like a dead end for us. Yuki's right. There's no way we'll be able to survive this. Finish praying yet? Because your death will come soon. What is she going to do? This is it. I bet she's gonna rip our hearts through the folding screen. Sayonara. What? Who's there? What was that? It seems like we were saved for now. What did just... Yukiko, be a good girl. Don't cause any more suffering. Uh, Mom? What? Mom? Don't tell me the mysterious voice is Seiko Kirihara. Evil spirit, be gone! <laughs> I think it's safe to move out now. Yeah, but that voice saved us. That Anryo called her mom. That's definitely her mom. Seiko Kirihara. Now that we're safe, let's check this room some more before going somewhere else. Alright then. Yay! The fears are gone now. And there's something inside this red drawer. You got the demon stone tablet? Okay. Don't know what it's for. But it's something. For now. Yeah, let's see. Nothing inside of that. Nothing there. Nothing important there. Nothing here, and there's something over here. Let's see. Kirihara Family Part 7. The Kirihara Family has an extremely large archive where every single fact about the family was recorded. The archive was created the day Seijiro found the Forbidden Scroll about the Ice Reincarnation Ritual. The archive now is located inside the Ice Cavern. 
They said that it was moved there because Suuchi didn't want anyone to read the documents, even family members, with the exception of Seiko. That's good to know. The ice cavern? I don't think we can enter that place, and it must be freezing. We have to... We have to... We want to get out of this lost dimension. For now, let's just see what we could find about the ice cavern. You're not gonna... You're not gonna look for Taiga? Of course we'll look for him too. He's our friend. That's... That's still priority, Senorita. But we'll probably find him along the way. Wait a minute. We're back in the hall already? I mean, there's a trap room before the hall. It's the same thing like when I finished the labyrinth puzzle. That's a good thing, though. We don't have to go through that nightmarish room again. That's true. Let's see. Where am I exactly? Okay, I think I read through this. Right? Yeah, I read through that. So I don't need to worry about this thing. Alrighty. I think we can get out of this area. And I should save too. I don't really need that, but why not? <laughs> Alright, so... There we go. We're good. And I did not mean to do that. That's my bad. Huh. So many mysteries. Must figure them out. Ah, huh, let's see. This must be the entrance to the ice cavern. Well, this is different. It's sealed. How are we going to unlock it? Sealed, huh? I think we should ask Chirokage the next time we see him. Yeah, that's going to be a must. I wonder, since that's changed, maybe this door will open now? Door's locked. Okay, that's a no. I probably got to go back the other way, and maybe we'll bump into some kind of cutscene. Yeah? Yeah, maybe? Alright. We'll figure it out. Right, nothing important here. Moving on. Alright, and I'm saving right here. <laughs> See. This is it. I should close the door. I could sense a lot of dark energy emerging from it. Okay, I was thinking because it got blue that that would have been the place to go to. That's the second time I hear that. Why is that a thing? I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Okay. Uh-oh. Nope. I screwed up and I forgot I had the... The Ofuda. Okay, cool. So that... We're totally fine. Yay. Alright, this has to give us something. This has to give us something good. Can we go through here now? Okay, nope. Not through there. How about this side? Nope. Okay, there has to be... They have to let us go through here. Oh, come on. Where am I supposed to go then? Statue. A statue that resembles the god of death. Statue that resembles an Oni or Oni. Yuki, look, the stone tablet. <gasps> oh the stone tablet reacted to the statue. I'm gonna put the stone on the statue's indent. The demon path is now unsealed. I get it now. If we want to unseal the path, we need to find a stone tablet that resembles statues. Eh, that makes sense now. It's a good thing I decided to look at them, otherwise. I would have been looking for hours, and hours, and hours, and I would be horrible. We still got one more path that needs to be unsealed. That dragon path, isn't it? Save that for later. I wonder if Taiga's looking for us now. Hey, hey, don't forget that we're the, one, we're the ones who are looking for him. Hmm, what's happening? Huh? What is it, Kaigo? Sorry, Yuki. It looks like I dropped my phone somewhere in the re residency. I'm going to look for it. You're going back to look for it? Yep. Go on ahead first, Yuki. I'll catch up to you quickly. You're going alone? That Anryo might still be 
That's why I'm going alone. Better than getting both of us killed, right? Is it really worth it? Going back and putting your life in danger just for a phone? I have my own reason, an important reason. That's why I'm willing to go back and look for it. Promise me you'll catch up with me later, okay? I promise. See you later. Well, this doesn't look good to me. And I'm playing as Kaiko. I thought I was going to play as Yuki. This might be crazy, but I've got to get my phone back. Alright. Why do you really need it, though?